Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, and we are on day 2,197 of our trek. The purpose of Wisdom Trek is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. In today's Wisdom Nugget, I am genuinely delighted to continue our journey through the book of Proverbs, uncovering its timeless wisdom. Today, we're diving into Proverbs chapter 8, verses 1 through 11, from the New Living Translation. So lace up your hiking boots, and together we'll explore the melodious voice of wisdom in these verses. In Proverbs chapter 8, verses 1 through 11, we encounter a beautiful depiction of wisdom as a wise and inviting presence calling out to humanity. These verses vividly depict the importance of listening to the voice of wisdom. So let's start with verses 1 through 3. Listen as wisdom calls out. Here, as understanding raises her voice. On the hilltop along the road, she takes her stand at the crossroads. By the gates of the entrance to the town, on the road leading in, she cries aloud. Well, these verses personify wisdom, portraying her as a lady standing prominently at the crossroads and the gates, crying out for attention. It's as if wisdom is eager to share her insights and guide those who are willing to listen. Her location at the crossroads and the town entrance underscores the relevance of her counsel in our daily lives. Now on to verses 4 and 5. I call to you, to all of you. I raise my voice to all people. You simple people, use good judgment. You foolish people, show some understanding. She beckons to all of us, regardless of our background or our station in life. Her message is clear. Use good judgment and seek understanding. Whether we consider ourselves wise or foolish, wisdom always has room for growth. On to verses 6 and 7. Listen to me, for I have important things to tell you. Everything I say is right, for I speak the truth and detest every kind of deception. Well, wisdom words are not empty. They are filled with valuable insights. She is the source of truth and righteousness and abhors deceits in all its forms. Her counsel is trustworthy, making her a reliable guide on our journey through life. Now on to verses 8 through 11. My advice is wholesome. There is nothing devious or crooked in it. My words are plain to anyone with understanding, clear to those with knowledge. Choose my instruction rather than silver, and knowledge rather than pure gold. For wisdom is far more valuable than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with it. Here the writer emphasizes the purity and value of wisdom's advice. It is wholesome, clear, and straightforward. Wisdom's worth is greater than precious metals like silver and gold, and even more valuable than the rarest of all gemstones. The message is clear. Prioritize wisdom above all else, for nothing is more desirable. Reflecting on Proverbs chapter 8, verses 1 through 11, we must recognize that wisdom is not passive. She actively calls out to us, offering us guidance and understanding. Take a moment to consider these questions. How attentive are you to the voice of wisdom in your life? What steps can you take to listen more closely and apply wisdom's counsel? Wisdom is a willing companion on our journey, waiting to enrich our lives. So let's summarize with these key takeaways from Proverbs chapter 8, verses 1 through 11. First, the voice of wisdom. Wisdom is not a distant concept, but a living presence that actively calls out to us, offering guidance and understanding. Second, the universal appeal. Wisdom's message is for everyone regardless of their background or station in life. And third, the incomparable value. The value of wisdom surpasses all worldly treasures. It is more desirable than silver, gold, and precious gems. Remember that wisdom equips us to make the choices that lead to a life of purpose and fulfillment. As we are continuing through this journey of this vast landscape of wisdom, may we walk with discernment and prioritize the voice of wisdom in our lives. I hope that these verses have inspired you to heed the voice of wisdom and prioritize her counsel above all else. As we continue on our journey, may we navigate life's challenges with wisdom and purpose. And if you found this podcast insightful, please subscribe and leave us a review, then encourage your friends and family to join us. And then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor. But most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, 
learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.